Ten. Measure. Spin. Measure. Feel that pretty. We have a visitor. Orfea. <laughs> it's been so long. Some ten years, no? You look good, Medea. Different. Eleven years. And thank you. Maturity agrees with me. It does. Who are those for? Surely a woman of your charms doesn't need tricks to fill her bed. No. But as the sun shines on those below him, so must his children. Is this a credo you live by? Why? Because you want something. I never said you didn't have to. After all these years, why else would you have come? Tell me, how may I serve the magician king of Thrace? Magician? I'm just a poet. You're not just anything. Magic. Music, poetry, art, it's all the same. It's the language of the soul that shapes the world around us. You are every bit the witch that I am. Now just tell me what it is you want. I'm in a little mood for a dance. It's about my wife, Everdiki. My condolences? You heard. Oh, I heard it as it happened. I heard her skin break under serpent's teeth. Heard the flush of venom through the blue and scarlet rivers of her veins, and heard her strike the earth with all the pomp of a felled oak. The girl didn't go quietly. She fought death and actually made him cry. I approve of your tastes. <laughs> you heard and you did nothing? Had you invited me to the wedding, I might have. As things were, I was at home when the serpent struck. I couldn't reach her to treat the viper's sting in time. I know you had your reasons. A dark foreigner with a past like me is hardly welcome in the company of bright homies. I probably wouldn't have gone anyway. So, you'd like me to wash, bless, and prepare her for the journey? No. I need you to bring her back to me. You'd like a visit with her shade? I can arrange that. Bring me around the slaughter. 
When its blood pools, the shades will gather to the <coughs> Every leak he's only just died, pulling him should be easy. That's not what I want. But it's what I'll give. You can't deny me. <laughs> no, I'm doing it now. Damn tigress! How dare you spit on our friendship by refusing me? Out of love for you and respect for her, your little butterfly fans her wings in Elysium. Let her have that. You'll find each other again in some other shape, some other time. I don't want some new shape. I want every Diki. I gave my heart to her. Now all that's left is a sucking, jagged tooth Charybdis in my chest. It threatens to uproot my viscera, tear muscle from bone, my feet from the earth, and my eyes from their sockets, until all that's left is a howling hole. If you still possess your heart, mercy me, pity me, give me what I need. Pity and I have yet to become acquainted, Faeus. I'm no stranger to loss. Don't lose your head over this. Fortune is always a woman, so is fate. You had the joy of meeting the former in the shape of your dear Riviki. But if you embark on this fool's errand, you'll meet the latter, and there's no telling what her shape may be. Why do you deny me? You've cheated death before. Healing the dying is not the same as raising the dead. It's cruel. <laughs> More cruel than a mother killing her children? Bastard! You know full well what these civilized Greek men do with little slave boys they've taken. I freed my sons from a fate I would wish on no one. And you, who have never felt your belly grow heavy with life, or nurse innocence at your breast, have no place passing judgment. Did you free your sons, Medea? Or did you free yourself? <laughs> Very least of what I will do if you don't leave now. Go, poor face, spurned by a woman, the only one in all of memory. Seek understanding from a comrade who knows the woes of men. Find a power who shares your sex.
not my fault. I don't care whose fault it was. Demeter's festival is tomorrow, and Ariadne's ball is in a week. We cannot afford fuck-ups. Ease up, Rhoda. With all that's happened, you've all been real troopers. We're not the only ones. How's your eye? Oh, what? this? Yeah. It's nothing. We'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Must be nice to be immortal. Immortal, but not invulnerable. No one is invulnerable. When I heard Everdiki screaming, I was so concerned with finding her, I didn't mind where I was going. You know how it is when you're looking out for a sister, don't you, you know? Guys, I want everybody stretching, please. When family's on the line, nothing else matters. Family. Everdiki was so looking forward to having one, she even had names picked out. It's, it's strange to think that she'll always be as beautiful as she was on her wedding day. It's almost poetic. It's not poetic. The whole thing's just absurd. We were all playing in the woods. Why ever, Deaky? On her wedding day of all days. Would you have rather the snake had bitten you? I don't know. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, it doesn't. She'd been gone for a while before we heard her screaming. Later, everybody said her shrieks must have been because of the snake, but when we found her body, it was covered in bramble scratches, like she had been running from something. What could she have been running from? Everyone knew she was Orpheus's bride and a nymph besides. There's not a nymph in all the woods that would have harmed her. Well, besides the snake, obviously. It was divine judgment. That's what happens when you turn your back on your family. <sighs> she didn't turn her back on us. She got married. Same fucking difference. Even if she didn't marry, it was only a matter of time till she left Meso and Dioniso. After all, she is my, my father's daughter, and you know how Apollo and Dionysus have never been cozy. It's true. I love my husband, but Dionysus has a spectacular talent for rubbing people the wrong way. Does he, all face? From the smiles you sport after leaving the bedroom, I guess Daddy D rubbed you in all the right ways. <laughs> That's to say nothing of the ah, ah, ah noise. <laughs> that bitch had no right to drag Orpheus away. Back on that, snakes aren't the only creatures with venom. Fuck you. You're just jealous. You wanted Orpheus just as much as anyone else here, and him not choosing you drives you crazy. I am not jealous, Aombi. It's a matter of fucking principle. Orpheus shouldn't belong to just any one woman. Yeah, but if he gave you the slightest attention, you wouldn't think twice. Orpheus! Orpheus, honey, what are you doing here? I have business with Dionysus. Steve's in his office. Would you like me to get him for you? I'd rather speak with him in private. You should not be conducting business right now. Why don't you come over tonight? I can uh, pour you a bit of comfort, make you a little dinner, and you can talk your little heart out. I have to speak with Dionysus. Offers open, honey, anytime. Uh, you insensitive cow, what the hell was that? <laughs> what? Everdiki's corpse isn't even cold yet, and you were all over her husband. So I want him. Like Iambi said, everybody does. Even happily little married you all bet. Maybe. But some of us love Orpheus enough to respect his heart. He deser deserves to mourn without being harassed. Men like a girl with a little tooth, Ariadne. You're all sugar no spice that get sick of you. That's probably what happened with your Theseus. You're not careful. Daddy D is gonna do the same. Somebody younger and stronger will be waiting. <laughs> somewhere more useful. Then perhaps you won't be so fucking resentful towards a woman with enough chutzpah to get what she wants. <laughs> Nymphs can bend that way. You asshole. How you doing? Come on in, pull up a chair. <laughs> so, you never call, you never write, it's enough to make a guy feel unloved. I have important business to discuss. Well, then it's a good thing we're not doing it sober. So, what ails you, kid? It's about every deaky. Oh, she was a kick. Best choreographer and dancer I ever knew. Real live wire, too. Who would have thought that Apollo had it in him to spawn a firecracker like that? Sorry, I forgot you were his fan. So, you get the flowers I sent you? Yes. Can I speak with you alone? Fine. 
you run along. This tall talk of brewing. So, what's up? I'm in need of divine assistance. Well, I'm flattered. Why not just go to your father-in-law? Apollo can't know about this. We're gonna pull one over on the old man. What do you got in mind? Evridiki, her death was senseless. Senseless death happens all the time. Ask any war widow. She was my sunlight. Even now her breathless form fills my home with a warm glow. To entomb such a gift in the cold earth, I need you to bring her back to me. <laughs> with a pulse? Look, kid, either you need to share what you're smoking and you've lost your mind. I'm serious. <laughs> I know, and that's what's sad. Look, kid. I like you, I do, and I do anything for you. Anything but this. Come on, you're wild Dionysus, the liberator. You make your own rules. I do, but there are powers that work far older than I. Imagine the crowds you would draw if you defied them. Brave Dionysus and Orges, thwarting his icy uncle Hades to return the living face of revelry to this land. It would be beautiful. If you did this for me, I would abandon the house of Apollo and sing of nothing but you. The air around your temples would be filled with music and lit with so many altar flames that deepest midnight would incite the sun's envy. <laughs> Shit, kid. Hades isn't the one I'm worried about. If not Hades, who? <laughs> you know. You feel our breath cut into your bones and our hands round your hearts. Speak our names, it pleasures us so. The night, children. Yes. <laughs> Hades may rule the land of the dead, but night and her brood are of a more primal order. You're afraid of them. I respect them, asshole, as should you. Did they respect me when they robbed me of my bride? You can ask death that when he folds you into his embrace. Which will happen all the sooner if you keep mouthing off? Then again, human impiety just might be your ace in the hole. How do you mean? There are women of Asebia with charm and skill who are less cautious. Less fearful. Less cautious than the Olympian gods about calling upon night and her children. Find a woman like that, pierce her heart with your silver tongue, and then fill it with your tears. Do that, and she'll help you. I've been in contact with someone like that, an old friend, Medea of Colchis. Hecate's Medea? Yes. Well, you should be set. She refused me and I pissed her off. <laughs> in that order? Well, you're fucked. Someone like that can be an invaluable ally, but barbarians can really hold a grudge. My suggestion, give her a good send off. She deserves it. I'll supply the drinks. You bastard is drinking all that you care about. No, I also like food and sex. We are talking about my wife. Your dead wife. How is suggesting that she be buried somehow inappropriate? That is enough of that. Look kid, I understand that you're distressed, which why I will let you leave here alive. Well, next time you come back, it had better be with an apology. Now get out and tend to your bride. You seem to have upset the smile of my foster son. No easy task. What do you want? I want to help. You're right to be upset about Everdinky. She was taken before her son. Dionysus said the Olympian gods wouldn't interfere with matters like these. I'm not Olympian. Like Aristeus, I'm pastoral at best. <laughs> so you're willing to face the night children? <laughs> no, but I can outfit you so that you can do it. Why? What's in it for you? I want you to come back here and play again. The girls were always so much more receptive when you were singing, even to an old goat like me. Leave Apollo's court, make peace with Dionysus and take a permanent resident at the Maison. If you help. If I help you. Come on, how many men get a second chance to be with the love of their life? Just promise to keep your word, 
and take up permanent residence at Maison Dioniso. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Bonds. 
A gift courtesy of Heracles. <clears throat> you won't muscle your way out. Then release me, you Asian bitch! You're ah! excited about flies and vinegar, Theonesis. What is this about? My home was violated last night by thieving satyrs. You know, if you wanted something, Lord, all you had to do was ask. I ordered no such raid. The satyrs didn't act independently. They stole things they couldn't possibly use. My personal notes and tools of my trade. I know nothing of this. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding someone for me who does. Well, then release me, and I'll help you in any way that I can. Make your promise to aid me as to Geonoth, and we'll have ourselves a deal. Fine, I swear. Swear? I swear by the holy head of Lady Styx, daughter of Tethys, and Oceanus, and mother of Kratos, Bia, Zeus, and Nike, that I will help you in any way that I can. Now please, let me up! Oh, good boy. <laughs> Are you always this bitchy? Only when aroused. Someone should teach you to work out your aggressions with leather. <laughs> Salinas! Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, T. I see you here with your lady friend. I, uh... I gotta go talk to Ariadne. Uh, yeah, uh, about the ball. Yeah, alrighty, I'll see you later. This lady says that Satyrs broke into her home last night. What? Would you know anything about that? Well, why wouldn't no reveler like me know something like that? Answer him, swine. Oh, is she always this bitchy? <laughs> Only when aroused, I'm told. Huh. I'd like to see her with a flogger. Selenus. <laughs> what? I was just being honest. The Satyrs? Well, it wasn't my fault, Dee. Honest, I, I was just trying to help Orpheus. What? What? Nobody would rescue Everdiki, so I helped him get the supplies so he could do it himself. Where is he? He was with his lady in the family crypt. He might still be there. Wait! I helped you and my oath is fulfilled. I'm free, right? Things just got bigger. You're not free until I say you are. We gotta get that vlogger. Man knows how to love a woman. 
by damaging us to the best of your ability. I saved her! You damned her! You carved her out of Earth's womb and flung her limp and bloodless into a world that is no longer her own. Other than honey to mix with? <laughs> no. She's <laughs> could keep her from falling. We've been so busy with preparations for the wedding that we haven't gone shopping in weeks. <laughs> what little food we did have, every Dickie ate as soon as she got home. Was she satisfied? No. She's still famished. You should kill her. After I brought her back? Because you brought her back. There's only misery for her here. And left unchecked, misery breeds until it covers the ground like waves of writhing maggots. I can help you. Make it easy. Poison, blades, anything you need. She is a part of me now. During the rite, I cut our palms and shared our blood. We are two halves of a whole. I couldn't kill her any more than I could kill myself. Besides, I don't even think she remembers being dead. It's like she took a nap and just woke up. Oh, she'll remember soon enough. Do you really think so? The sight of a freshly carved island should jog her memory. Uh, I almost wish she would remember. Before waking up, she called out the name of Aristeus. Aristeus? Her half-brother. It's probably nothing, but I can't understand why his name would be the first on her lips. Only she would know. In the meantime, let her breathe with the ease that comes of ignorance. Comrade of your husband's from his traveling days, Medea. Medea of Colchis? The dragon charmer? <laughs> the same. Oh, you, you retrieved the golden fleece for Jason and rescued Heracles from madness. Tell me, what is Heracles really like? Honestly? He's a little fast, but not altogether selfish, and he almost makes up for it with vigor and enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, I see. Don't put too much stock in myths and legends, sweetheart. No one lives up to them. <laughs> I see. Won't you stay for breakfast? I'd love to hear more. I'm afraid I can't. I only stop by to have a brief word with Orpheus. Oh, that's a shame. You'll have to come back for dinner sometime. That'd be lovely. Thank you. You know, I have something for you, a, a thank you for your hospitality. I'm sure you'll find good use for them. <laughs> thank you. You didn't have to do that. Friends of Orpheus are always welcome in our home. I think it's about time you got going. I'll see my way out. Have a beautiful day. Of course. I'll go out to the Adara, 
buy up all of your favorites, and cook you the biggest and best breakfast you've ever had. Fine, I'll go with you. No, no, you stay here. I want to get you some surprises. <laughs> you spoil me, Kuklos. I love you so much. I love you, Karitsi. And you deserve to be spoiled. I'll fill you so full of sugar plums, you'll pop. Stop, stop, please. Go on now. The sooner that you go, the sooner you can return. You stay here and be good, okay? Seal it with a kiss. Falakia. Falakia.
keeping up with Orpheus? Later, I started getting these splintered visions, like shards of glass in the back of my head, working their way forward into a mosaic. I remembered the snake, and I remembered stepping on it while running from, from Aristeus. Aristeus? But why? He, he doesn't like being refused. Oh, girl! But he's your brother! Did he? Did he? Yeah, no, I, I fought him off, and then I ran. In the end, the viper things penetrated me before he could. Kind of funny. <laughs> I don't think it's funny at all! It's not. We have to tell your father, or Daddy D. No, no, they can't know him back. No one can. But why? There are things that need tending to that must be done in secret. What, what kinds of things? Special things. Things that I'm afraid to do alone. Do you still love me, Yombi? So the same blood flowed through our veins. Do you promise to help me? To be as my sister and face whatever tears lie on the road before us? Yes, I promise. You promise you won't look back. What are we going to do? Just promise me. Promise you won't look back. Fine, yes! I promise! Because when I was in the underworld, I learned that I wasn't the only one air stays hurt. There are so many of them, and the Eurys demand vengeance. I cannot deny them, and there are things that I can do that Apollo and Dionysus can't. Can we seal that oath? Fine, yes. Do you still have that ring of yours? The, the bronze claw? Yeah. I'd like to use it, please. Your hand, please. things. I couldn't bear for you to see me like that. 
You would lose me forever. You're not a monster. Nothing you could do would ever make you believe it. You don't get it. I believe you. No. No, not after all this. Look, I will do as you ask, but you need to do something for me, too. What? Promise to feed only at night, when you're least likely to be caught. Fair enough. Shall we seal it with a kiss? No, not now! God! <laughs> Please? Lakia. Lakia. What do we do with the Yambi? I'll take her to the family crypt tonight. Are there others? One more. A satyr. A satyr was found mauled after the festival. Dionysus sent a team out this morning to hunt for wolves. The wolf they want is two legs short and without a pack. No, she isn't. You have me. Yes. I have you. Take me home. I walk into my office and there's a lady brunette on my desk. If I were Humphrey Bogart, I'd be thrilled. <laughs> I need my computer, do you mind? Of course. So, did you come to apologize? No, Lord, I came to chat. Well, that will have to wait. I have a plane to catch. Aren't you at all concerned about what's happening to your people? They're being hunted down. The wolf will be caught and killed by the time I get back. There's no wolf. Orpheus raised Ebridiki from the dead, and now she hungers for blood. If Ebridiki had been raised from the dead, Orpheus would be braiding her through the streets, not eating my pals. The underworld is in an uproar, Theonesis, don't you hear? The Ares demand justice and scream of more violent deaths to come. All I hear is the motor of the rolls running. You swore an oath to me, Lord. The gods' words are worthless, and what hope is there for honor among men? I already helped you, and what does some female barbarian know of honor? What of love or mercy? These are female virtues even the greatest men are greater for having adopted. If you love your people, if on the face of your mountain one flower of mercy grows, then stay and battle the coming onslaught. If you leave your people now, the price they pay will be dear. Bitch, if you threaten my house, you will know the wrath of God first hand! Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, Lord. Right now, I am the last thing your house needs to fear. Reckon these balls! She is bitchy! Oh, of all the times for Dee to take a trip to Pythos, if only you knew. But you will. We've just days to the ball. God, I don't know if we're going to be ready in time. You are my dire concern. Will she heed them, I wonder? Or ignore them until they're just about to consume them? You doubt her lots. Let her decide what to do with them. I'll have my shears at the ready. Nervous? <laughs> yes. I told you I wanted a free cage and gala, but I didn't know it was going to be this much work. You're do you'll do fine, Ariadne. It's going to go great. Thanks. How are you holding up? Any word? No. I've left a million messages, went by her house, called her family, nothing. Yami's just gone. Well, maybe she's off for a jaunt and she will come back with stories to tell. God, I hope so. It's just that word is that Yami's not the only one missing. I'm beginning to think something awful might be happening. 
Go home, you know. If she turns up, you'll be the first to know. I'll stay. Keeping busy will keep my mind off things. That was not a request. Go home. When she turns up, I will call you. Yes, my lady. I'll tell her Aristeus and go. Good night. Good night. I've never seen her so strung out before. How is she? She's your sister. Why don't you ask her? I can't. If I found out something was wrong, really wrong with her, I just don't know how I could handle it. Suck it up and find out. After all that you've been through together, the least you could do is let her know that you are there for her. Tomorrow. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. Yambi? Oh. oh! Oh my god, where the hell have you been? I was worried sick. I was asleep. This whole time? My god, Yambi, for all I knew, you were hurt or lost. I was lost and dreaming like you are now. But when I woke up, the whole world opened up like a flower. God, you know, it's so much bigger and more beautiful than we ever imagined. Yambi, hey, you're scaring me. I know. I was scared too at first, but after you wake up, you won't have to be afraid ever again. Afraid of what? Of anything. Age, death, nothing. It's all pretend. Let me share this with you. You'll be so happy. After you've died, you appreciate life so much more. After I... I've died, you know? Aphrodite brought me back. She made me so much more than human. And she can do the same for you. Aphrodite is gone. I know you're upset, my love, but nothing in the world can bring her back. Hello, Eno. <laughs> Entire town is buzzing with talk of the necropolis in flames. 
I was terrified something happened to you, and all you can say is that you were out. Yes. I thought we agreed that you would only hunt at night. I wasn't hunting. I was just out. It's just not safe. What if someone were to see you? Somebody did. Your friend from Colchis. Are you okay? I came out better than she did. She still escaped, though. We have to leave town. No! No, why not? Just not yet. I, I need time to prepare and make peace. The day after the new moon would be perfect. We can go then, okay? Please, my love. Fine. Thank you. I'll start making calls first thing in the morning to set things in motion. Until then, you stay in this motel. Is that clear? I need to feed. I'll die if I don't. Is that what you want? No. Fine. Fine. Just stay close to home and only at night, okay? Huh? Okay. Seal it with a kiss. Kalakia. Kalakia. until I release its seal. Are you, are you gonna kill me too? Too? I didn't do this. I didn't even know the child. She's a baby, isn't he? All of 14, maybe 15? God, I was married at his age. Why defy my bed with him? To offer a warning and a proposition. Thracer and the Maison are under attack and your opponents grow in number every day. There are already more than I can handle on my own. But if we pool our resources, I'm, we might stand a chance. Against what? Against the creatures hunting down your people. There are already more bodies in the river, all weighted down with ovals in their mouths. There for the ferrymen. Well, are, are you saying that there's a serial killer? No. Your people are being hunted down by the undead, led by Evridiki. <laughs> Ignorant barbarian, this is nonsense. <gasps> barbarian? Harsh words from a backwater princess whose mother fucked a bull. I had... <laughs> I had hoped that you would have enjoyed the opportunity to stand against a genuine threat instead of just being the Maison's doll. Oh, I suppose I misjudged you. If you change your mind, Kukla, here's my card. Sweet dreams. Wait! Spying, were we? I wasn't spying. I was... I needed to see Ariadne, and... Did you mean what you said about bodies in the river? Yes. My sister, did you find a girl there with olive brown skin and light hair? Not in the river. What do we do? That's up to you, child. You can stand and fight or you can wait to die. If you choose a former, I'll gladly help you. Otherwise, make peace with those you love. There's no greater hell than regret. Breathe deep. 
What have I told you about putting your feet on the furniture? Edo! Where the fuck have you been? I've been out of my mind with worry. I know. No, you don't know, goddammit! I went down to the river. There were bodies and there was something shrouded eating a little boy and Edo, oh go god. What's wrong? You can't touch me, Rhoda. Why the fuck not? It's not safe. I'm not who I was. I, I only understand. came to warn you to stay away from the Maison and to say goodbye. What? I'm dead, Rhoda. You don't know. I was killed and conscripted as one of the undead. We're attacking the Maison the night of the ball. The thing you no. saw must have been another like me. You can't be here when it happens. Go to Thessaly, Athens, Egypt, anywhere but here. I can't be seen. <sighs> fucking A! Keep your fucking shirt on! Take it off. <laughs> what are you doing here? You said I could come by. If this is a bad time... No, no. Please come in. Can I get you anything? Water? Wine? I never drink wine. <laughs> since when? Just sit with me, please. Yeah. What's going on? I just wanted to be with someone. Ever since every Deke died, I... I understand. You're so cold. It's chilly outside. I can warm you. What the f was that? It's gotten worse. You need to leave Thrace and don't ever look back. Edo, no! Aphrodite! Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> I have to tell Medea! to the woods by the river like when we were courting? To play for the nymphs and the bears who lie tame at your feet? Such easy quarries always bored me. You never cast yourself at your, my feet. I had to chase you. You were so refreshing. A woman unimpressed with celebrity. You looked at me and saw just a man and fell in love with him. I can't tell you how important it was for me to have that and keep it. Chasing didn't end even after I thought I'd caught you. You're a woman that requires some upkeep. As do you, though I've seemed to have forgotten that. I've neglected you, haven't I? A little. I'm sure you felt lonely. And you haven't? I did at first. But not anymore? No. How'd you get those wounds? These? Uh, they're nothing. Oh, there's something. I saw you with Rhoda. Tell me, 
How did she feel? Was she all warm like I used to be? Was that little girl all hot and moist? Her heart beating against your chest? Her hips grinding against your cock as she straddled your lap? God! I spent all this time slinking in shadows, hiding my face, ashamed of being a monster. And you strutted openly, winning the sympathy of Thrace as you snatch up its children. Oh, poor widower, putting on a brave face. Oh, the adulation of the crowds. Oh, how everyone loves Orpheus, even while being shredded in his jaws. Don't start with me, little queen bee. I know about your sapphic hive. No wonder we haven't made love since you've awakened. How did you make them? How? Why? So you can have a train of little boys to warm your bed as you walk through eternity? No. There will be no little boys for Orpheus. How dare you speak to me that way? I gave you life. Are you so vain? Do you really think that you are a man who can birth? That if you squat like a woman, heaving and quivering, convulsing and squeezing, your hands beneath you to catch the fruits of your labors, that you achieve anything more than shit? You planted the seed for my arrival, but my flesh is Earth's flesh. I sprung from her, and the goddesses Hecate and Persephone were the midwives that pulled me forth and planted me in your arms. Don't embarrass yourself by thinking otherwise. Don't walk away from your newborn wife, Orpheus, not before she's finished with you. Orpheus! on steel, but yours actually warmed the blade. What a treat. And now I get to have you all to myself. <laughs> so you're finally ready to put up a fight. Well, let's see how long you last against the great Orpheus. Last as long as I need to. Dawn approaches. Soon all the gossiping nymphs will have a full view of our fast the killer. You should head back home to your wife before all of Thrice learns who the wolf really is. Next time. I look forward to it. to pierce human flesh, and then drag the edge under your chin into a grin from ear to ear. You could join the annals of tragic romance figures that populate verse, brave warriors that traveled far to dispose despots and slay monsters, only to be done in by the deceitful hand of a woman. No one knows what you've been doing. If I killed you now, you would die a hero. 
and I would be a monster mentioned only to frighten children. One pound and a half of pressure. Then you'll see what I've seen. Know what I know. In Jeweled Elysium, I met women who in other lives had birthed me. They held me and shared stories of becoming enamored with the growing creature that twitched in their bellies, and of how their adoration increased with every step I took, every time I fell, and every time I picked myself up. I met folk whom I had birthed and mothered, and they kissed me and thanked me for all that I had taught them, for nurturing in them sparks of strength, kindness, and joy. I met men who had fathered me, and children whom I had fathered. I met husbands and wives, brothers and sisters, friends, lovers, bright souls, all ecstatic to have me in their arms again. And you ripped me from them. I want to believe that you did it because you love me. That almost makes it harder to resent you. But as I asphyxiate in this flesh, as cold as the crypt I woke up in, the anger festers just the same. One pound and a half of pressure. Slip it in and feel my body close tight around it like a lover. Then I might rejoin the cycle. I could be born again, make friends, fall in love, have babies, and get to watch them grow. Then they would have babies, little ones that I could feed on cookies and teach all the best ways to misbehave. My hair would silver, and I'd laugh and dance as my creaking body crumbled into earth around me. <clears throat> One pound and a half of pressure. <laughs> but not yet. You made me a monster. But I will not be the woman that makes you a hero. Goodbye, Orpheus. Philokia. Did the 
child of our world, roars, drowning, screams in their final hour. And then he came. strong and shaped divine. In cruel chains was the hero confined. And then I came.
what you do and live with the screams of Thrice's children in my ears. I can help you with that. End your suffering. Give you peace. Isn't that what you did for your sons? What you wanted to do for me? I don't live in the pursuit of peace. Some of us do. And I won't find it until Aristeus is brought to justice. Aristeus? What? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Two arms! <laughs> that pleasure. Ah! You used your venomous tongue to sully my gifts. Do you know what the people call me? The little Apollo, after our father. For the mirth that I give my mortal flock, am I not owed a little in return? Oh, I'll give you what you're owed. Ah! His mane ah! wouldn't have it any ah! other way. You remember ah! her? The girl from Sardinia? When you fed your desires on her, you left her with child. Afraid of what people might say, she could not bear to seek the aid of the gossiping town midwife. Instead, she helped herself with the brew of penny royal and tansy that ended both the child and her life. Carlos, the boy from Boeotia that you ravished, followed Socrates' example. After hiding his bloodied clothes where his mother might not see, he drank a draft of conium. Neither compared to the events that pursued Melanto of Corinth. Her father, Acteon, drove a blade through her heart like a doe on Phoebe's altar to spare her the shame of living with your crime. Outraged, her howling brothers rent their father's flesh until all that was left was a shattered hunting horn in a pool of crimson. And then after Melantho, there was Acteon and Zoe and Sandy, Creon, the Doris and Daphne. The list goes on and on and on. Oh, sorry! Oh, sorry! Sorry? Really? 
And now you expect absolution? You beg at the feet of the wrong God's child. I have never been to Galilee, and you have not begun to sorrow. What are you gonna do? You can't kill me. But I can do better. In that crypt awaits a host of creatures with an endless thirst for blood and darkness. When I lock you in with them, they'll have eternity to save their desires. My sister, the powers in hell would condemn you. Idiot, who the fuck do you think sent me? Persephone and Hecate released me with their blessing uh, and a message. Uh, uh, Mortal uh, or immortal? Uh, man or God? No one is beyond the reach of Lady uh, Justice! Uh, 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 Lord Dionysus, Oriandi, uh, save your beloved Aristeus! You! Are you going to try and rescue him? No! Drop him in! What? We heard everything! Drop him in! <laughs> You heard the jury. Good night, brother. I should be happy. The ironies are silent. The dragon is slain. And the princess is free. Until she gets hungry again. There is that. I wish you had closed yourself in the crypt with the others. And spent eternity sucking on air stace? I died trying to escape that. <laughs> I know, and I'm sorry. I don't blame you for pursuing justice, but if I let you go, you'll keep on hunting. And I can't let you do that. I know. And I'm sure you know I won't give myself up without a fight. Yes. Though you know something? I hope you win. <laughs> fight me, Medea! Use all of your tricks! Blade, sorcery, poison! You will earn your prize! No! I won't let you hurt her. Don't interfere, Orpheus. You will have your turn to dance with me. Savage, I will not lose her again! Orpheus, you should have stayed in bed! Oh! What the fuck?! <laughs> Please, stop this!
ovals. Fair for the ferryman. What now? Take Efridiki's heart and burn it. Plant trees in its ashes so she'll never rise again. I'll take care of Orpheus. When you leave, will you come back? We'll see. Orpheus's remains and spread them out and dumped them into the sea. For it was the sea that first brought them together. The ashes washed down to the Isle of Lesbos, where they ran through the reeds and sang of mystery and love, and of the women of who divide, made him defy death, for that is how he liked to remember it. Ephrodite's ashes nourished the trees that were planted over them. Like Persephone, they died each winter and revived every spring. They grew for 3,000 years, offering strength and comfort to those who needed it most. Just before dying each winter, their leaves shifted from green to gold, becoming the color of the sun that Ephrodite loved so much. And so we leave them and leave you, O oh wild muses. We praise you for your song, a song of Apollo's high-born daughter and of your favorite son. May the poet forever remember us kindly and ignite the air with songs of our beauty. Here's to you, dear muses, and to love.
tits for it or your cock. <laughs> anyway, uh, later on, we will be having Pyrophoria's be showing a, a fire right here before that dancing. We love you all. We thank you all for your support and your love and your appreciation. You're, uh, you're all our friends. You're our family. And without you guys, we couldn't have done this. We're glad to give this play back to you. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. And I love these guys. Yeah. Yeah.